Hey everybody, Tom Bilek here with another installment of Project Strike One. I'm here at Morris Elite Baseball in Cherville with my buddy Anthony Gomez. Anthony, how are you doing today? Doing great, Tom. Ready to get to work again. Terrific. Well, just to get everybody caught up a little bit, I was selected to throw out the first game situation pitch at a Gary Railcats baseball game on May 7th. Now, the first uh, task at hand was to uh, be able to get into shape a little bit, uh, lose a few pounds, which I've been working on that diligently, but secondly and more importantly, was to get the proper uh, arm conditioning needed to uh, to get that ball over the plate with a little velocity, and that's where my buddy Anthony comes in. And Anthony, tell us a little bit about how we got started doing this. So the first part of what we've been going on in this process is just getting the arm back in back in shape you know so having thrown and however long we just want to get out there throw build the conditioning back up and take it from there now what we're starting to get into okay is there are some faults in the throwing pattern that i saw that we can clean up so now our work has been targeting on making tom's throwing pattern as efficient as possible and with that tom says he's been feeling better the ball's been coming out the hand easier which is exactly what we're looking for. So now we built up that base, we're getting the throwing pattern down, and now we're going to be looking to take that next step. And that next step is going to be strengthening that newfound throwing pattern. And with that, you know, we hope to see his overall strength go up, and then with that, hopefully see the little velocity go up as well. You know, we got a goal of we want to we want to throw the ball 70 miles an hour, and we're going to continue to plug at that and continue to strengthen the arm, get everything ingrained. And I look to probably get you to the mound sometime soon, okay. and we'll keep building there. Okay, so very good. So for the first few weeks, again, just to recap, just kind of breaking the rust loose out of the shoulder a little bit, doing some light throwing, some stretching, conditioning. Uh, now we're taking it up a notch, working on some technique. So after throwing a baseball for many, many years, uh, you've basically reconstructed my entire pitching motion. Absolutely, yeah. So, you know, there's certain, certain points in the throwing motion that I look for, and... You know, with that, I've got certain drills that, you know, we've been doing, like with the throwing club, with the connection balls and things like that, to just sharpen up the pattern. You know, we it's all about being efficient. You know, anybody can have any kind of throwing motion they want as long as they hit certain checkpoints in that motion. It's all clear. But, you know, the older we are and whatnot, we just want to be efficient. So we want to make that throwing motion as efficient as possible, which should hopefully eliminate pain, help us feel stronger when we're throwing, and that's ultimately going to round it out. Right on. So, yeah, you're right. Nobody wants to get hurt doing this. Yeah. So uh, I, I feel like I'm making progress, but I also feel at times, too, that uh, I'm the only one that feels like I can actually get this baseball past a professional baseball player. Uh, I know people out there dying to know, uh, can this really happen? What's your assessment, your honest assessment, Anthony? Oh, it can most definitely happen. Like With the changes that we've seen over the past couple of weeks with his throwing pattern, how quickly he's picked up, I mean, we're going to continue to push your strength, push your range of motion, all of that. I mean, you're going to be throwing a ball maybe better than you ever have before. Well, I look forward to that. I feel good, feeling stronger, uh, and I re really appreciate all your help. Now, at the Morris Elite Baseball School, uh, you work with uh, students of all ages. Um, if, now, if somebody wants to get a hold of you for help with uh, either their pitching motion or really any kind of baseball conditioning, uh, how do they get a hold of you? So you can go to our Morris Elite Baseball website, and on there you'll find our number, and you can contact us through that and, you know, ask for Anthony Gomez. I'm throwing and strength coach instructor here and be more than happy to work, work with you. Terrific, Anthony. Well, thanks so much. Sincerely, you're, you're helping me out a lot. I'm learning a lot, which just goes to show you're never too old to learn and uh, never too young to teach because we're a few years apart, aren't we? Yeah, just a little bit. But, hey, you know, we both have our goals in mind. We're doing whatever we can to achieve those, and it's all it takes. That's terrific. Thanks again, Anthony. Once again, that's May 7th at U.S. Steel Yard in Gary, Indiana. It's 11, 10 a.m. start. It's uh, school day. It's uh, be, be a lot of kids out there for school field trips. I understand they had about 6,000 people out there for this game last year. So uh, we're looking forward to a big crowd. Come on out and see us. For tickets to that, go to railcatsbaseball.com. It's only $8.50 for a ticket. And with it, you get a hot dog, chips, and a soft drink. What more could you ask for? You can't beat that. Anyway, thanks so much, Anthony, and, and thanks for joining. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Until then, find your strike zone.